Tears Fringe, all of them, I think, in different ways, talking about freedom or the attempt to become free. And nobody does that with more blazing passion and more sheer intellectual firepower than the legendary Penny Arcade, who is appearing at the underbelly in the Cowgate in her monologue, Penny Arcade, colon, Longing Lasts Longer, which I think wins my personal prize for the best title on the fringe. What Penny is longing for in this particular monologue, which is blazingly written, performed by Penny herself, with a live sound uh, uh, soundtrack of, of, of music, you know, from from, 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 from throughout the period um, she's talking about. Um, and Penny is talking about longing for the kind of freedom that she knew from time to time, not always, but in, 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 in blazing moments, um, in the 60s, the 70s, even the 80s, um, when she was uh, in New York and was part of that wonderful New York underground scene that helped to shift our whole culture in completely um, new ways. And Penny worries now about whether the world we are living in um, really allows for that kind of freedom anymore. She worries about gentrification, both of city areas, city streets, and of the mind. She worries about what's happening to the minds of a generation who are permanently wired to the internet and constantly being mined for data and targeted um, for advertising. She worries um, um, about things like trigger warnings, which warn people not to read great literature in case it might upset them by talking about war and sex and death <laughs> and controversy. Um, and she worries about the future of all of us in a world where genuine pleasure, as opposed to mere tickling your fancy as it were, and genuine pleasure is becoming a radical value, she says, because our materialistic way of life is really so fundamentally joyless. She's an absolute legend and she has been for uh, many years now and will be for many years to come. Please welcome Penny Arcade for Long and Last. Introduction. Um, all right, quickly, I want to say that I want to, of course, thank the panel, um, the secret people who were in the audience that I didn't know, um, and on behalf of the Soho Theater that um, bravely took on the show without seeing it, and my producer, my other producer, Jeremy Goldstein who has absolutely unwavering faith in my writing and my ideas. This is Steve Zettner, my longtime collaborator. We've been working together for uh, 23 years. The first time we came to Scotland was in, in 1993 with Bitch Dyke Fag Hag Whore, <laughs> my sex and censorship show. Um, and being here in Scotland changed my career. A woman who speaks her own mind from her own point of view, who cannot be read into, but who demands to be able to say what she thinks about the world from her own place is not an object of ridicule and hatred as it is in the United States, if you're not from a certain class. Um, I would be lying if I didn't say that the truth of the fact is that I have always put my career second to adventure and that probably like a lot of other people who come here for the festival, my main reason for coming here is not my career. My main reason for coming here is to be in the most magical place on earth, Scotland, in the most beautiful city in the world, Edinburgh. Thank you very much. Um, I 
could just stand here and be emotional and, and gratitude because <laughs> Benny has the word, but uh, it's we have great kinship with Scott, as Penny said. And uh, thank you, Joyce, and everyone at, at the Scotsman for taking our work seriously and for appreciating the ever-evolving, beautiful anarchic rebellion at Penny is. Um, we, we love this place and um, the, the gracious soul of the people and the stones that really resonate with its history. Uh, those are the values that, that we love and um, it's a great honor to, to have this happen to us here in Scotland. Right. Thank you. Thank you.